Hello again, you lovely people. This is Steve-O here, once again, um, also known as Running English Win, if you like. We're simply here to inspire you to be the best and fittest version of yourself, because if I can manage to do it, then I think that you can too. So, firstly, um, it's going to be a short video today, I know I always say that, but I'm going to try and make it a short one. Um, apologies for the delay, um, if you've been following my journey on the running and all that. Um, I've had a really sort of busy time over Christmas. If you see my previous videos and you know that I had a busy time coming up um, working in a butcher shop, it was absolutely mental. Um, some of our days were sort of 15 to 18 hour shifts through the day. Um, we were walking sort of 10 miles around the shop. So I think it's fair to say that we were in the best um, <laughs> best position to be going out and running before or after work. So that was that. Um, I had to not run for a couple of weeks. So secondly, I just sincerely hope you had a really lovely Christmas and enjoyed the family time and enjoyed doing everything that you was allowed to do under the, the current sort of crisis that's going on. And a new year as well. I hope you all had a good time and um, ready to jump into 2021 and getting fit and, and just going for gold on that. So we'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. So don't you go anywhere. As I said, um, no running through the Christmas period. Um, we weren't really in a position to eat healthily throughout. I mean, I wasn't wasn't eating loads. But I wasn't e exactly eating healthy as well. So it's fair to say that when I went back to running on uh, like Boxing Day or the twenty seventh, man, my time slowed up big time. <laughs> but um, you know, I've, I know the drill. It happens when you have a little break or a holiday. You come back. You got some catching up to do. Um, but it's nice to be back. I've had, I've had like three runs since. Um, threw a spanner in the works a little bit. Um, if you follow my Strava, you'll see what happened. But I went from this chest strap, Kuspo chest strap from Amazon. It's falling apart. You can see the things coming off where I've washed it. Swapped that for a high quality Garmin HRM run. So I thought this could go one way or the other. Um, it could either exactly the same as the other one or it could make me faster or could make me slower depending on how accurate the first one was and and the new one is turns out it made me quite a fair bit slower um I had a little mini meltdown every day when i got back um, i see my first mile was like 10 minutes and 10 seconds or something and it just got worse and worse like your heart you know the mafto method running does when i got back i was like oh my good god like 10 25 or some average pace um and that was after a day of just um, well slept and just minimal sort of coffee and all that but two days later which is today I've just come back for there as you can see um, I'd knocked like 33 seconds off up to like 9.52 like, which have still slowed me up I'm expecting that after the Christmas run but um, the point is that's my new strap I'm going with now it might slow me up and it might have been nature's way of saying you know you, you might be going a bit, little bit too fast and pushing it a little bit just over the math and that might have been the way of just telling me to slow down a little bit. So it's all welcomed, I'm gonna go with that. And to be honest, uh, since I upped my mileage to 30, which might have been a bit of an abrupt swap from sort of 23 miles up to 30, um, my wrist and heart rate just sort of crept up. I used to be hanging around 50, 51. Now I'm like near 57, 58. So it's crept up, not massively, but over what I'm used to. And I think maybe, I don't know if it's slight overtraining or, or just a slightly too much stress on the body because um, nothing else has changed apart from the workload. So again, this new strap slowing me down slightly might just be what I needed just to sort of knock me back a little bit. But I'm just really happy to get back on it now. We get back in the routine. I'm feeling absolutely positive for um, 2021. Uh, so my goal is this year, is to keep edging the mileage up. Um, I'm still doing around about the Maffetone method heart rate, but I'm doing 80 20 as well. I'm gonna do some speed work. I've got three or four different ones I wanna do, but only one of my runs of being that. So I'm gonna try and get my times back down to where I was before, because I've been down to sort of around eight and a half minutes now, and now I'm nearer to 10. So I've got some work to do, but I'm, I'm absolutely committed to, to getting back to where I was and getting down there. My goal is this year to get round a complete marathon. If you've seen my other videos, um, then you know that's what been my aim all along, is to be able to manage to get round. I'm not too fussed about time, but I'd like to be make it quite 
you know fairly reasonable and be able to manage it quite well uh, but just to get around it would be an absolute achievement for me um, because I'm, I've only ever done half marathons before that is pretty much what this video is about today so bring on 2021 I'm feeling proper positive for it and I want you to be positive about it too um, get your shoes on I know this might be a new a new thing for some people so go back and look at my old videos but if you're if you're already following along let's do this together let's let's reach our goals that we all want to reach I want you to tell me in the comments as well what your goal is and keep me informed I'm really I really love following everyone else's journey like I'd like people to follow mine as well so let me know what your goal is for 2021 mine's just to get a full marathon in if yours is if you're just starting and you want to get 5k 10k you know let me know and we can uh, we, let's go for it together and just make 2021 a really positive one and have a really crap time so that is basically it for me I'm back I'm get ready for lots of footage and lots of um more content I'm going to get back into the routine now until at least my little new baby comes which I'll have to change it up a little bit slightly then but let's get into the full swing of running let's get fit together and healthy and let's eat well and I'm going to speak to you again very soon so don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom if you're new here and um let's get this done together all right I'll see you again soon Steve -o.